Good morning. We have a big old window out here now. So much nicer. So today we're going to get our house in to order because it is being disordered and dirty and we have to clean it and finally put everything back together again after all these house projects. Living in chaos and ruin, one of my least favorite things in the world. But look at that cat. She yeah. still chooses that little basket over that big, huge one. That big one needs to be moved away. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. move it. She just won't do it. <laughs> it's an enormous basket. We tried. She just she likes to be cuddled in their silk. Oh, yeah. her. Kitty. So I got a bunch of clothes I need to hang up right now. All right, though. We're getting there. Yeah, almost done. It's coming together. And through a family vote, we decided to go shopping today. Yeah. We have to start getting Abigail's stuff ready. So I think we're going to go shop at... Uh, grocery store Probably for Publix some barbecue stuff. What do you think? We yeah. want to get some good beef. We haven't found any good beef. When dixie is okay, but it had, I made meatloaf and it had like this much oil in it around it. And Most I'm not of used it to does. that. And then the, uh, even the Angus, uh, 20, 80, 20 from Walmart that still has like so much fat and grease and on it. its flavor is just really weird. Once it's dried up that, it's not You're kind of wondering if it's like it, it's a pass when it's fresh and that's not something I like Because yeah. if I if I want to eat the food later on I'd like it to be tasty yeah. Anyway, we're trying to deal with the cat fur as well. Can you tell? But yeah, so we're almost done and then we're going to leave instead of fixing the rest of the house We'll leave that for yeah. tomorrow. I think we're gonna finish this room. I already put the rug down because I got the rug stabilizer You know the rug where it doesn't slip Man, so you're looking good. I was like, Shoot. Thank you. <laughs> we were noticing how Abigail's just like me. Her one of her leg on her pants is up. Yeah, always one. I always have one of my legs up. It doesn't matter. Abigail's getting ready in the other room. Yep, there it is. Yeah, she got yep. one 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 short leg, one long leg. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming hard to shop in here because this is three for five dollars, where there's 69 cents everywhere else. So it's a little hard to shop for stuff that's like three times more than what it should be. I haven't seen a animal tank for a long time. That one's real curious. This used to be peasant food, and now it's a luxury. They're cute. I like lobsters. Wow, look at that. Nature's a little cleaner. Their selection of stuff is pretty much incredible at Publix. I just can't take the price. Like $5.84 for Carb Smart and Walmart is $4.19 for the same exact thing. It just hurts me to shop here. I can't do it. $5.84 or $4.19 for the same exact thing. So I think we're gonna go. <laughs> okay, that is the fourth time that I've been here. Uh, first of all, we had to go get some specialty stuff and it only is sold there. So that's the only reason I've ever been there before, but it's just so expensive there that I don't see the point in going when I literally know that the prices are a dollar, two dollars, three dollars cheaper issue. at Walmart. I can't shop here. I can't. Physically can't do it. Like if I left here with a bag of groceries, I would feel horrible and probably not be able to sleep. So we're going to go to the discount grocery store. <laughs> Walmart. I love it. <laughs> okay. I got to put my seatbelt on. Whatever we yes, want, they can one pick thing out. one food or one drink, whatever they get to pick something one out today. One for me. We're at Walmart now. You know, in Israel, we would say that guy arrived <laughs> a millimeter. <laughs> We're home, and I know we spent way, way less at Walmart than we would have Publix. I just, I tried, because I wanted to get different things. Um, I love for the kids to try new things, so we didn't actually get anything new, but we did let them pick out one thing. Abigail picked out a watermelon, and Raphael, of course, picked out Oreos. And I picked out a and, and then I was like, do you want something from the bakery? Because Raphael got cookies, and she's like, donuts. And then, Raphael, <laughs> when we went to the yard sale, we got one thing. Can you show them what it is? Catopoly. Can, Catopoly. We already have um, Monopoly. Monopoly. Cat 
Monopoly. This was a dollar. I had to get it for Raphael. Oh, there's kitties here. Yeah, it's all kitties. It's all kitties. Catopoly. Catopoly. Are you believing that? The start. <laughs> Scat instead of start. That's cute. Uh, I thought you would like that. Okay. I will always, always, always look for the clearance meat first. I say $5 on this, so a dollar per patty. That's really cheap. And these are the, you know, the expensive ones that are already seasoned and whatnot. So we're going to eat this for dinner tonight. Looks really good. Those look really good. So I just put the groceries outside and man, it's like, what, 96 degrees now outside at 6.30 p.m.? Yeah, not not ideal. However, I usually don't give my perspective on the shopping experience. I really do think Aldi is kind of uh, too expensive. The things that they have there are very trivial. They're not super high quality. The supermarket that we went to in Israel basically had the same quality of stuff or maybe in between Walmart and uh, Publix, but generally everything was good. Even their home brand was good and it cost about a half. So. The lowest price, cheapest on sale meat that we were gonna go to get today, the sirloin, that still costs at the higher end kind of of hamburger in Israel. And all the stuff that we buy at Walmart, I mean that that's standard or baseline for me because everything we ever shopped here was through Walmart. We went to Publix about twice and both times it was too expensive for things that we know how much they cost in Israel. Even today in the store, I went and did a USD to NIS, New Israeli shekels. I converted all of the uh, currency for products that I wanted to see what the difference is between Israel and here. And it's just so much higher, it's not worth it. So I was looking, monitoring Andrea, you know, through the store, I was looking at her and I see that she's just torn. Yeah, it's nice, Publix is nice, we never go there though, because it really is not worth it for what you're paying for. Some of the products are good, but it's not worth that much money. It's a ripoff. It really is. From uh, my perspective from Israel, which mostly things are more expensive there. Groceries are more expensive. So we're used to that kind of living and that was standard for us over there. And now I'm coming here and it's just still not. I'll say that I think Aldi is the best discounter. Walmart is a median in between kind of thing and Publix is like the higher end but at the same time pretty much the same products. There's a lot of other stores around here as well, grocery stores, but we usually don't go there. So I'll let you know what I think about those two. They are burning their accumulated energy. Woohoo. Uh, <laughs> that is literally the difference between them. He tries to go berserk and he does and she does not even try and she's just, yeah. Good thing this was on sale. Yeah, dollar a piece. Yep. That's, oh, it's good. Ooh, ooh. I ate it too. It's really good. Ooh, I see that. Uh, mm. You know, it's got avocado under it too. Red Robin is like a really good dupe for BBB. And we loved BBB in Israel. And Red Robin has the same burger too. And he loved it. So he's going to have some burgers. And avocado. He turned the light on. So he's going to have avocado. I'm sweating in here. Oh, yeah. We turn the air off one more out. We don't turn it off, we turn it just way up. We don't want the cat to melt. Um, yeah, but he's gonna have some avocado salad. Now I got a lot of avocados and tomatoes and what I'm gonna do is try to eat that most days because I did end up losing a lot of weight when I ate avocado and tomato. Um, and basically that was all of that that I ate for weeks, avocado and tomato. And I lost a good amount of weight. I mean, every day weight was falling off of me. So I'm going to try to do that again. <laughs> yeah. That, that's like, a, like it supplements an entire meal. It tastes like a meal. Yeah. And it doesn't cost that much, like 69 cents, 98 cents a pound for the um, tomatoes. So it doesn't cost that much. Saving money and hopefully yeah. losing weight. In case you're wondering what all <laughs> this kitty is just, she found a new bag. All right. This is Raphael. She claimed it. He I doesn't. Gotta go call them then. He doesn't like avocado. And this is. Abigail. <laughs> Kitty, you found a bag? Oh, Kitty. She might have had onions in it. Kitty is eight. Can you believe it? Eight years old. Kitty. Raphael is seven. Yeah. We got her before him. Children. Yeah. Come and eat. Yay. You're not a child, Rudy. I hear that tail wagging. <laughs> Devon. <laughs> I'm going to get past you. <laughs> Eat time, eat time. Uh, she's our national distractee. Always gets distracted with something. 
Come on, Goo Goos. Go wash your hands and go eat. But Devon. Oh, you left her in the dust. I gotta go get her. What happened, Googies? Wow. Oh, why didn't I didn't have it in my hand? The Googies from the jungle. This is why... Wow. Yeah. You see all this? That's why you need to clean the trampoline before you go play on it. Now you're a child from the jungle. All right, let's clean you up. Abigail, please do not knock it down. No. <laughs> We're not taking a picture. Get out. Take a picture of me too. No. I don't know how they take a picture and I won't. <laughs> hey guys, so Raphael, over the weekend, I got him a Catopoly game. And this is very special for him because how many times are you gonna find a cat game? Hi. So I cleaned it up for him because it was really dirty that you can see like somebody had like a battery or something and it, it ruined the front a little bit but I taped it it was all coming apart and I washed it down it was nasty so I washed the box it had been sitting in the garage for probably years their son was autistic he has Asperger's syndrome so I'm betting that he had like a cat thing too or maybe still does uh, but he looked like he was maybe 16 or 17 years old he was helping with their yard sale uh, he was doing really good, too, because they were packing up because it was about to rain. There was a huge rain cloud right behind them. Anyway, so we're going to play Catopoly for a little bit. Abigail's already been trying to play with him, but she's just doing the money, basically, and rolling the rolls, right? <laughs> yeah. She's having fun doing that. So Raphael is reading all of the cards first because he has cat special cards. I have more to tell you. Yeah. Can you please watch your videos from your phone. Do you want to get the tablet and then you can watch TV in here? It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> Stay in and lose one turn. Raphael, do you know what raining cats and dogs mean? What? You don't know? No. Guess. Uh, it's raining cats and dogs. Okay. That's what I mean about idioms. It's very hard for kids to with autism to understand idioms idioms is like it's raining cats and dogs am i right that means it's raining very heavy raphael raining very heavy it means it's raining very heavy it doesn't mean it's actually raining cats and dogs that's what i really want to work on with raphael is like common sayings that he may come across uh, they take things very literal, and that's good if people are being, you know, not talking about idioms and not doing figures of speech, but unfortunately we do talk that way. And daily we talk that way and don't even know it, you know what I mean? So uh, that's one thing that we feel is very important for him to learn, what figures of speech are, and, uh, you know, we'll have to most likely teach her too. Um, we are getting both of the kids reevaluated, and it's just so they can get services, so they can get uh, the therapies they need. He definitely needs it to be in a communication therapy type situation. I think he's good with everything else, honestly. I think he's good with speech. She may need a little speech. She has difficulty with two letters, which is typical for her age. Uh, the R right? Mm -hmm. Raphael and the L. Can you say Raphael? Raphael. You're saying that L real good. Mm -hmm. She's been practicing. $250 She's say L. Yeah. L. Can you say L? L. 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 Yes. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Sounds a little tone deaf, but it's really good. Getting yeah. lots of money. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Win the game. I have more to tell you. You got more to tell me? What would you like to tell me? Are we going to rock together? Uh, can we have a camp out? One, two, three. One hundred and seventy dollars. You want to camp out here on the couch? No. Camp out outside. Oh. She needs Fine. a campfire. Definitely camp not tonight. Mm. But we can plan that for the summer, okay? Mm -hmm. Definitely, in the next coming up weeks, uh, for sure. Am I gonna watch uh, videos, cooking videos on your phone? She loves to watch our cooking videos. I'm gonna have to start making more cooking videos, and have her help me because she just loves it. Raphael doesn't like it so much, but he does like to help me do a few things in in the kitchen. So can you get 
lots of stuff and games. Yeah. And my favorite games like Minecraft multiplayer with one of our best friends. He pretty much just likes to play video games now. Yeah, not m not video games, just Minecraft. Right. That's all. Right. Just Minecraft. And mm -hmm. Pokemon you like. Yep. You played I Shield also. and he has Shield and what one other Pokemon Let's game? Go Pokemon. Let's go. Let's go Pikachu. And yeah. We need to insert the game card to actually play it. Yeah, I lost. I I didn't lose it. It's somewhere in there. I just have to go in the because nobody else can find anything. I'm the only one that can find it. Um, it's in the dresser that we have there with all of the video game stuff. So I have to find it. Oh yeah, she fell. Remember she fell when she was running around the lake or the pond. And she scrubbed, scruffed her to, and look, this happened in the car. I, I think it's from wearing her mask. It she is. has some red marks here, here, and here. And I think it's from wearing, my nose right here was getting war. Like I, I was, and I had to take it off. Like when I wasn't around anybody to just like breathe. And my eyes were like glassed over. It's like, can't wait to get out of this store. <laughs> $290. Exercise park time. We're gonna go into Pugolets, and after that, we're gonna go to Shalom Park. She walked faster than she runs. That's me and my mom right there. If you don't have a bench to sit on, just sit on the ground and try to rest. <laughs> <laughs> <Tell me. laughs>